Shakespeare is indeed for all time, but not in the way you think. Shakespeare is always the same and yet always different. My name is Richard Shook, professor of drama, Queen's University, Belfast. Shakespeare's plays are not static entities that simply float through time unchanged. We're always in a relationship with Shakespeare, whether we're reading Shakespeare, performing Shakespeare, or watching a Shakespeare film. And that means the plays change with every generation, every culture, every different era, because we ask new questions of Shakespeare, and that results in new readings, new interpretations, and new stagings. The same play can mean almost opposite things to audiences. Let's take The Merchant of Venice as an example. In the wake of the Holocaust, it's simply not possible to stage The Merchant of Venice according to anti-Jewish or anti-Semitic stereotypes. Yet it's also true that during the Second World War, the Nazis in Germany did stage The Merchant of Venice as a way to exemplify prejudices against the Jewish people. The biggest change is that in Shakespeare's time, women's roles were played by boys. But it wasn't until the Restoration, in the second half of the 17th century, that women's roles were finally played by women. And today, in our postmodern 21st century, we have gender bending, and women play men and men play women, and it's all quite confused, and Shakespeare wouldn't have understood any of it. I can't think of any place better to study Shakespeare than Britain. In this country, we have the greatest concentration of Shakespeare talent that you will find anywhere in the world. The greatest scholars, the greatest actors, the greatest directors. From the Shakespeare Institute in Stratford to the Globe Theatre in London, Britain really is the best place in the world to study Shakespeare. <laughs>